Hi. So, to get you a better idea how such a robot can work, let's start with a quick demonstration of my robot. This robot is straightforward and simple and just goes to a food delivery service and orders hamburger from my favorite restaurant. Let's take a look. So now my hands are off the keyboard and everything is done by a robot. All the clicks, all the types, as I programmed it. So it takes my favorite restaurant, opens it up and choose the beet burger. Add some sauce and chutney and goes to finish the order. In the end, a robot prompts the message, hi human, the total price for order is 138 crowns. Finish the order? Yes or no? And I choose no, since I'm not hungry now. So this was a quick demonstration. So here you can see a flow of my robot very easily. First of all, I assign the value, value to a, a variable restaurant name, friends, which is the name of the restaurant. Then I open the browser, or well, the robot opens the browser and works within it. Types in the address, this is hard coded since I live in one place. Click a couple of buttons, then once upon a time there is a pop up with a map. So in that case, it also confirms this pop up and uh, search for my uh, restaurant, OK? Then click the name of the restaurant, click the name of the burger, which is same as you would order the food, and add some toppings on the top. Add it to a cart and click finish the order. In the end, the robot reads the price for the, for the order, the total price, and prompts a dialog window, and that's it. Well, eventually I can continue with actually really ordering the burger. And so anything, I, everything I have to do when I'm hungry, I just run the robot and it just works by itself. This is, of course, very simple demonstration and there can be um, different events or different things that can happen where my robot can fail. For example, if the restaurant is closed at the moment or if they change their menu or names of their food. So but this is something you will have to struggle and you will have to beat as the beat burger beats too. So you'll have to find out the ways how to automate your processes so they are rigid, uh, they are sta stable and they are um, bulletproof, so-called. So that was a quick example. Thank you very much.